I joined in August 2020, I think. I'm studying chemistry, maths, further maths and Russian. Um, well, first of all, I want to do chemistry at university. I got I received an offer from Oxford recently and I also received a scholarship from them. So for me, it's a really big achievement that I have never even hoped for. And as a Ukrainian student, I, my biggest dream was studying in the UK and studying and at Oxford was never even in my dreams. And I think coming to Seaford was the thing that allowed me to do it, basically. My biggest problem was that after I received an, of, an offer a few months ago, my biggest problem was that uh, for overseas students it's very expensive and the only way I would be able to go there is to get a full scholarship. So uh, my tutor helped me a lot, my housemaster. Um, people at the school just generally helped me so much writing a personal statement, writing different support statements for the scholarship. And I think if I didn't go to Seaford, I would definitely not be able to do that. Uh, when last year we had an Oxbridge group, uh, where a bunch of kids from, who had intention to go to Oxbridge, uh, we all met and Mr. Gisby and other staff were explaining the process of application, the, pro the type of life you would get there, the type of education, and um, they helped us write personal statements. And the school was really good with supporting everyone with, in those aspects, but for people who needed that one step further, we started doing our present statements much earlier, we did them more in depth and we had people who already went to Cambridge or Oxford talk to us, say what the experience was, what kind of uh, things people are looking for in there. Um, and then after that, after we applied in October, um, a lot of people got offers for you. I think I was the only one who got an offer for an interview but people had exams, the application exams, and I don't think anyone else did get an offer, but when I got an offer for an interview, Mr. Gisby was doing with me practice interviews. I did some with Dr. Street, with Mr. Holy. Um, I tried to, I think I did one with my housemaster, Dr. Pothikari as well. And after that, um, it was obviously very stressful and Mr. Gisby was trying to help me as much in like pastoral care wise, as much as he could. And I think he did make it less stressful than it would be if I did it on my own. And after I received an offer, I immediately applied for a scholarship because I knew that's the only way I could study there. And Mr. Gisby helped me write a personal statement, helped me apply, walked me through the whole process. I think it was, it was really helpful. I got an offer from St. Edmunds Hall and I got a scholarship offer from them as well. I'm going to be studying uh, chemistry, it's integrated masters, so it's four years and I would be getting master's degree in the end. I'm looking forward to seeing just the library, for me the biggest thing is the library because I, knew, I know that it has almost every book in the world, some, some of them are original copies that don't exist anywhere else. And it's just exciting to be in a place with so much history, so much research done in it. It's just really exciting. I know that uh, after finishing masters, I would really want to try to do some a few years in research. So it would be either pharmaceutical or most likely pharmaceutical. And for me, after a few years, it depends on how I feel if about the research itself, because I know. A lot of people told me that it's very difficult, it's not for everyone. And after trying that out, I was thinking either continuing in that place or becoming a uh, chemistry teacher. So it would either be a chemistry teacher at, at school or potentially at university, a professor. That would be my biggest achievement of all. For me, I found a lot more friends that I am similar to. Because in Ukraine, even though I had a lot of friends who I knew, who I, I consider them good friends, but we were all always really different. Our interests were really different. But, but here, I found those people who I enjoy talking to, who I can spend hours talking to without getting tired. For me, CFIT also uh, helped me a lot with my academics. For me, chemistry was a really big aspect of my life. And um, back home, we wouldn't get as much funding 
And in here, when we came in here, the number of practicals we do is just crazy. The number of things we do here, how many um, just showcases, how well the books are designed, um, almost everything is perfect. Um, in maths, the, the way the questions are positioned, the way that the structure of the A-levels is created is really easy, like it's, it's easy to follow, much easier than I'm used to. For me, being at CFIT also means developing my English. And I know that over the last year, two years, I definitely have improved it a lot. When I came in, it was really stressful to talk to anyone, but now it feels much better. And when I come back home, even though it's not as noticeable, because obviously I have an accent, I'm not talking as fluently as some as native speakers, but uh, my English teacher, when I came home, we met again, we talked with the whole class. I came to the class at some point and she definitely noticed that I'm talking much better now. CFIT is very good with supporting the OVC students. I know that uh, last year there were a bit more students because they came for one year and then left. So like I know my friend Adela from Germany, she came for one year and then she went back to Germany to finish her education there. And I know that she got full support here that um, she was a vegan and school was really supportive with they made a special like meals every day for her i know that for her the traveling was done basically by school so the taxi was ordered things like that uh, for me also like just full boarding here because i'm obviously so i have to board over the weekends it's amazing school does different trips different um, going out is just amazing and i think it depends on the education you're looking for because if you want to finish A-levels it definitely helps you. I know that with A-levels you can apply to, um, to the UK much easier than with, any, with anything else. Uh, school supports that as well, gives a lot of support in that aspect. Um, if you're coming back to Europe after finishing A-levels it's also pretty straightforward. Uh, I know that I had some problems because of the subject choices I made because Europe is not, they don't see BTEX as full A-levels so that was one problem I, did, I had but um, because I did business BTEC and this um, because of that I had to take Russian but for everyone else I'm sure that uh, CFIT offers the whole variety of subjects. I know that next year there's going to be things like ethics, philosophy and just different various various subjects with a lot of hands-on material where everything is explained perfectly. Teachers are really really well qualified. I know that a lot of teachers here have doctorates, a lot of teachers have experience in the industry and it's amazing. 